Look all around Up in the air Or on the ground Come for a walk Come for a ride There's so much to see So come Outside We're always in pairs Always two of us In a rather nice colour that suits We'll keep your feet dry, my partner and I. What are we called? We're boots. <laughs> Hello, my dears. We've just been for a walk. We got caught in the rain. Long. Stop sniffing. <coughs> Pippin, <coughs> leave the poor cat alone. <coughs> now, wait here, Pippin. I must dry your feet. I know you don't like it, but I don't want your wet feet all over my kitchen floor. <laughs> there. It's a pity Pippin can't wear boots to keep her feet dry. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> what would she look like? <laughs> oh no! My feet are wet again! I hate having wet feet. No wonder. My boots have got holes in them. I really must buy a new pair. I could do that today. Yes. Why not? Pippin, it's time to fly. Is it Pippin? Oh, <gasps> running some boots. But they're not big enough for me. Hello, can I help you? I'd like a pair of Wellington boots, please, size six. I'm sorry, I've just sold the last pair, but I could see if I can get you a pair for next week. Oh, dear. I did so want to buy them today. Never mind. Thank you. Come on, Pippin. <gasps> Pippin? Oh. Oh, look, Pippin. There's the boot factory. This is the factory where they make Wellington boots. Oh, look. A royal crest. That means they make boots for the Queen. <laughs> Let's go in and see what we can see. This is 
top boots are made from. Rubber. But it's too thick. The rollers have to iron it out until it's a long, thin sheet of green rubber. Now this is going to be cut into lots of different shapes. But first they've got to glue in a nice comfy lining. This would be the part that goes round your legs. the soles and heels, the part you walk on. Here, all the parts are put together. to wear. May I try these on, please? Yes, of course, Auntie Mabel. Ah. They're a perfect fit. I feel just like the Queen. I'd like to buy them. Pippet, where is she? Pippin, what am I going to do with you? Pippin's being very naughty today. Oh. 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 My feet are nice and dry. Oh. 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 
reminds me. I know a story about some boots that wouldn't come off. Let's see if I can remember it. Once upon a time, there was a firefighter called Martha. She'd had a busy day putting out lots of fires, and she'd come home for her tea. Oh, I can't wait to take off my boots, she said. She tried to take the left one off, but she couldn't. Here, let me help you, said her husband, and he began to pull. But the boots wouldn't come off. So her husband called their daughter. Daughter, he said, come and help me pull off mother's boot. The daughter took hold of the husband and the husband took hold of the boot. They pulled and they pulled. But the boot wouldn't come off. So the daughter called the dog. Dog, she said, come and help us pull off mother's boot. The dog took hold of the daughter, the daughter took hold of the husband, and the husband took hold of the boot. They pulled and they pulled, but the boot wouldn't come off. So the dog called the cat. Cat, she said, come and help us pull off mother's boot. The cat took hold of the dog, the dog took hold of the daughter, the daughter took hold of the husband, and the husband took hold of the boot. They pulled and they pulled, but the boot wouldn't come off. So the cat called the mouse. Mouse, he said, come and help us pull off mother's boot. The mouse took hold of the cat, the cat took hold of the dog, the dog took hold of the daughter, the daughter took hold of the husband, the husband took hold of the boot, and they pulled, and they pulled. And they pulled, and suddenly the boot came off, and they all fell in a heap on the floor. Thank you, said Martha. Now, if you don't mind, would you pull off the other one? <laughs> Do you think they managed to pull off the other boot? Yes, I think they did. Sounds as though Pippin is still chasing that cat. Pippin! 